Hey guys, Void here, and in this video we're going to be doing another mod review. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at the Quadro Pack 5. Um, this is by Black Sheep Modding. And I think it's safe to say that um, going by all of their previous mods that we always expect uh, good quality, high standard mods. Uh, they're very reputable modders. Uh, they've got all their own Facebook page and things like that. It'll all be in the description below. So if you want to go check them out, you want to go and rate their mods on the Mod Hub, uh, then please do so. Um, I'm not quite sure why it's Quadro Pack 5, or is, or if it's a V or a 5, but I'm going to guess it's a 5. Now it may mean it's like a 5th series, because there may have been you know, 4 previous versions of this I'm, I'm not quite sure um, but it only stacks four bales in there so I wasn't sure if it was um, something to do with how many bales you could stack in there but you can only stack four in there as far as I'm aware this is used all around Europe I'm not sure about America uh, but it's definitely used around Europe uh, real life prices for a piece of equipment like this you're looking at about 40,000 and you're looking at, I think you can hire it. So again, you're looking at about eight to ten thousand just to hire the equipment. Not sure how long the lease is for, uh, but this was just the sort of information that I found out with a quick Google search. Um, again, um, I dug up some images off the internet, so hopefully they will be coming up on the screen um, round about now, so you can kind of compare what they look like in real life. And if you do a quick YouTube search of your own, you could probably find. Um, some of these in action and uh, yeah you know a very impressive piece of equipment uh, you know just the, the little things like the little warning stickers you get right up close there giving you uh, warnings and you've got the reflectors there on like the chassis really really nice hydraulics you know you can see it's it's all in its place nothing is you know out of place it's all nicely done you know the textures are really nice even when you're up close and this is actually a a real life uh, brand as well I've actually found some pictures of this brand which uh, like I said you're about to see those coming up on the screen we can actually get inside as well and uh, have a good look inside again everything seems to be in place nothing's out of place at all you know, all of the nuts and bolts, everything's where it should be. Really, really nice. And obviously, like we always do, we're going to um, take it for uh, like a test run. And uh, we're going to see this piece of equipment in action as well. Um, so, the reason why I've got these balers out as well are because they're the only type of balers that will work with this piece of equipment. Um, so... Obviously, it can be found in the baling technology section. Now, all of these original balers that come with the game are not compatible with it at all. Obviously, it's only going to be available with square balers. So even the uh, the coon balers as well are not compatible with it. It's only available with these four balers. Um, and basically, what you do is when you go to purchase it, you just make sure you put the attached trailer uh fitment on the back for an extra 250 and you're good to go uh, i think all of these balers yep they are they require at least 120 uh horsepower so you're probably going to want to get something a little bit more powerful so you can obviously pull the extra weight and uh just be able to work the fields with ease um, but we have got a tractor, we have got it all set up, ready to go at one of the fields. So, like I said, we're about to see this uh, in action. And basically, um, it's just to make life a little bit easier. It will leave stacks of four around the field. And um, it makes life a little bit easier when collecting uh, out of the field and loading it up to a trailer. Ready to transport to wherever it needs to go. Um, and these are the uh, what it looks like when you've got the... Uh, the extra fitments on the back so you can attach it to it really nice I mean I haven't found one thing out of place 
But anyway, guys, I will see you in a moment's time when we're at the field. Okay, here we are. Um, got some uh, straw swaths ready to bale. So we can have a demonstration. I've just got the, uh, the new Holland baler. And uh, that's what it looks like. It all fits nice and snug, exactly where it should be. Nothing looks out of place. Really nice piece of equipment. When you go to uh, purchase as well, you can actually change the colour of it. So you've got lots of different colours that you can choose from, which is really nice as well. Not sure how much it costs. Uh, two. Uh, oops. Yeah, it looks like it's going to cost you an extra 200 to change um, the colour. But that's the only thing you can change with it. It's just the colour. Nothing else is customisable with it. It's got beacons on there as well. Like I said, we're going to take it for a little run. You can see, actually, if we get out. Yeah, you can see the beacon all works nicely as well. Got like a nice little beacon road train. Not sure how you're going to cope with... Uh, as you can see, it's quite lengthy set up as well so with some of the smaller maps you may find it a little bit more challenging navigating it around the map but for a big map like this you're gonna have no problems at all okay so let's bring up the help window so we're gonna want to unfold our baler first all right and then we press X LB and X and you have to put it into operating position so you don't actually unfold the equipment like you do with anything else I think that's it I don't think you have to uh, like start it up or anything like that I think you just literally lower down the uh, I don't know what that is lower it down put it into operating position Start up the baler. See this thing in action. So I'm going to try and keep it in this sort of position so we can see it transfer from the baler into the uh, the quad pack. But I don't think I'm going to get one just yet. And there's one. Nicely done. Okay, so we've got our full stack of bales now. Four bales, all in there. Worked perfectly. No issues whatsoever. The only thing you'd, I would say you'd need to be careful of is when you're actually making the bales, um, it does push this bale out. And when it overhangs, and it's kind of like in like the middle of crossing over just be careful when you're turning around and coming back down because as you turn it does kind of uh, these are not lined up and you've got room there for that bow to kind of fall out onto the ground so you need to make sure these are level so it can kind of just um, cross over perfectly without any issues just kind of not need to keep an eye on when the bales are being made but anyway, what we need to do now is press LB and Y. And just like that. And then we, what do we do now? We press LB and Y again. And then we can say unload bales here. Pull forward. And that should be it. We should be ready to go for the next lot. Oh, and then we have to close the back like that so everything is LB and Y by the looks of it apart from putting it into the 
transporting position so we can lift it up now if we wanted to and lower it down that's LB and X and everything else is LB and Y and obviously this is for the Xbox so this is the Quadro Pack V or Quadro Pack 5 on on console for Farming Simulator 17 so personally I'd just like to say thank you very much Black Sheep Modding I'm not sure if you're a, a team of modders or a, uh, just a modder on your own but fantastic work uh, I'm not sure if you're going to see this video at some point but if you do excellent work and like I said guys I will be leaving all of the necessary information in the description below so you can go and check them out yourselves Hopefully you've enjoyed this video guys, hopefully it was helpful and interesting and uh, if you enjoyed the video please give the video a like, a share, it's always greatly appreciated and until next time guys, take care of yourselves and bye for now.